Homeward Bound, Daily Devotional by Ellie G. White Race for the Crown, April 22nd Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24 In the epistle to the Hebrews is pointed out the single-hearted purpose that should characterize a Christian's race for eternal life. Let us lay aside every weight and, every, and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Envy, malice, evil thinking, evil speaking, covetousness, these are weights that Christians must lay aside if they would run successfully the race for immortality. Every habit or practice that leads into sin and brings dishonor upon Christ must be put away, whatever the sacrifice. The blessing of heaven cannot attend anyone in violating the eternal principles of right. One sin cherished is, is sufficient to work degradation of character and to mislead others. The competitors in the ancient games, after they had submitted to self-denial and rigid discipline, were not even then sure of victory. Know ye not, Paul asked, that they which run the race run all, but one receive the prize? However eagerly and earnestly the runner might strive, the prize could be awarded to but one. One hand only grasped the coveted garland. Some might put forth the utmost effort to obtain the prize, but, by, by, but as they reach forth the hand to secure it, another, another an instant before them might grasp the coveted treasure. Such is not the case in the Christian warfare. Not one who complies with the conditions will be disappointed at the end of the race. Not one who is earnest and persevering will fail to succeed. The race is not for the swift, nor the battle for the strong. The weakest saint, as well as the strongest, may wear the crown of immortal glory. All may win who, through the power of divine grace, bring their lives into conformity to the will of Christ. The practice is the practice in the details of life. The practice in the details of life of the principles laid down in God's word is too often looked upon as unimportant, a matter too trivial to demand attention. But in view of the issues at stake, nothing is, is small that will help or hinder. Every act casts its weight into the scales that determines life's victory or defeat. And the reward given to those who win will be in proportion to the energy, ex the energy and earnestness with which they have striven. Homeward Bound.